Do you believe that America is divided? Yes, we are, and there's so many different reasons. Racially divided. There's so much of polarization in the politics. I do think social media is a huge problem. You can't have a conversation anymore. Hey y'all, this is Deke Copenhaver. Hi, I'm Karen Foster. Hey everybody, my name is Manu Meal. Here in the heart of downtown San Antonio. We're here at the Augusta Market. We're out here in beautiful San Francisco, my backyard. And today, as part of our Starts With Us project to bring people together, we're gonna find out what they really think about this division that's happening. It's one of the most difficult problems our country faces today. Welcome to Starts With Us on the Street. So the first question we've been asking folks is, do you think Americans are divided? Absolutely. Yes, I believe that we're divided. Well, certainly. Yes, we are, and there's so many different reasons. It's ridiculous. I think we developed a culture where you can't have opposite opinions and still be friends. The current media, like the way that the news media is reported and things like that, it's intended to divide people. I think the number one reason, honestly, is Fox News. Like the news organizations are very biased in the way that they present their information from both sides. People need a purpose and our purpose today is just to fight. And so the media has focused on the fight internally. They're uh, divided, I would say more racially. Um, America's more, there's a lot of prejudiced people in America. I think the division is coming from racism and it's always been in this country. I had experienced a um, couple people being nasty to my kids because they're mixed and I would like to see less racism. You look around this place here, you don't see racism. But they advertise racism. I think that we tend to segregate ourselves without even thinking about it, but I think there are events and places that bring people together. Like the market we're standing in is a great example of there's no boundaries here. Most people want to get along. 25 years ago, it was not like this. And now I see there's so much of polarization in the politics. There's so much of divide. People are not able to, to even listen to the other person. I just had a conversation this morning with a friend that's saying that he doesn't even get together with his family anymore because they're so divided in political views. They we're divided more by party than anything else. We are essentially locked into what our party thinks instead of looking at the big picture. Partisan politics forces us to choose like one way of thinking. Yeah. And that, it, that does not allow us to explore our truth from other ways of thinking that include our culture, our religion, our family, our experience in life. What do you think is dividing the country? I think social media. Probably more than anything, the internet. <laughs> I do think social media is a huge problem. Um, so I don't know, maybe if we lost the internet. <laughs> You just see everything online and you see a lot of extremes. That's that's a lot of what's going to make news. That's what's going to catch a lot of people's attention. So, I don't know. You, yeah. you see a lot more of that split online than I think you actually would in person. I think a lot of social media just influences people that it is divided, but I don't really think it is. So, if we could do one thing to bring Americans together tomorrow, what would that be? Well, it have to involve food. <laughs> because everybody is comfortable when there's a good plate in front of them. But I think it's just really opening up, listening to each other, having real honest conversations to get understanding from each side. Seek understanding rather than criticism. I think a lot of people are scared. They're scared to open up to what's different. It's like they don't know how to step out of what they are used to. When somebody feels comfortable, they want to stay there. Change is scary for a lot of people. And um, you start to scare people, they start to back away. Yeah. They don't want to um, go forward. And I feel like that's where we need to change. I feel like we need to get more uncomfortable as a community. Instead of conversations, if we don't like what somebody is saying, we'll just say, we'll just be against them. Instead of hearing their side, instead of knowing what they went go are going through what they went through, we'll just go against them. Do you think 
that America can overcome its divisions? And if so, does that start with us, people like us? I do think it starts with ordinary people like you and me. And I do have faith in us, you know, to become something that's like more united. Sometimes it may be wrong and, and change perspectives and grows people. Your neighbors, your church members may not always agree with you, but uh, I mean, you have to be civil and understand that everyone's background is different, so their opinions are going to be different, their upbringing is different. I think that our perception is that we're divided, but I think we're, we're more unified than we, we are led on to believe. We're all different, but we're also all the same. And as a counselor, I just, you can find the good. You know, you don't have to make everything awful. We're sick of the divisiveness and whatever it takes as far as love will take us, we're willing to go there. How do we get people to come together more? You don't want to divide people. You want to come together and make a better community for everyone.